Shit. It recorded before I, uh, or it started recording before I finished my sip of coffee. Sorry. Hi. Um, I'm Bryn, and today is November 24th. Um, I am doing my 30 videos and 30 day project. Um, and I'm using the Miserable Muses 30 day trans challenge from DeviantArt. Uh, the link will be down below if you want to try this yourself. Um, today is question 24. Who is your favorite LGBT actor, musician, director, artist, etc., and why? <sighs> um, it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, but I think certainly the actor who um, was most um, impactful to me and my acceptance of being trans was Eddie Izzard. Uh, he's a British comedian. Um, he calls himself a transvestite. As far as I know, he uses male pronouns. Um, he calls himself uh, an action transvestite or an executive transvestite. Um, but no, seriously, the um, the woman who became my ex-wife um, gave me a copy of Dress to Kill um, before we got engaged, actually before we were we weren't dating when we got engaged. We just went from not dating to being engaged. Long story. Anyway, um, she gave me a copy of Dress to Kill, and it, first of all, he's hilarious. I mean, he's just so fucking intelligent and funny and smartly funny. Like, it, you have to be paying attention and you have to be thinking in order to get his humor, and it's awesome. Um, but, you know, here's this guy, and he's got a, a theater full of people who are just with him and they're just present and they've just accepted him and he's in full makeup and painted nails and um non-masculine attire i mean it was just great it was just great to see that somebody can be happy with who they are and out about it you know and just live the life that they want to live um so it was huge to me and um you know, I've seen all of his specials since. He's hilarious. I actually went to see him one time. Um, he has, in later years, um, since I think right before he did The Riches, um, started being more masculine in presentation. He wears a goatee a lot of times. Um, but, and, and when he's on talk shows, he tends to wear, you know, men's suits now. And I think some of that is a, a bargain to get work in Hollywood. Um... But when he does his performances, they tend... He, I think he still uses more feminine attire. Um, but, I mean, that's that's him living the life that he feels authentic in, and that's huge. Um, let's see, who else? Um, I'm learning to love Laverne Cox because she's amazing. Um, you know, it's not just that she's a trans woman in Hollywood doing, you know, working. Um, she's just fucking brilliant. Uh, she's, she's a delight to listen to and, and just so enlightening, um, you know, to hear speak because she's, she's just on point, you know? Um, but let's see, I don't, there's unfortunately a shortage of, you know, well, trans actor, musician, director, and artists. Um, you know, I, and, and it says LGBT, but you know what? The LGB folks, they're pretty loud anyway, and there's a lot of them, and I really would prefer to focus on trans people because there's not so many. Um, Laura Jane Grace of Against Me just came out as trans. I don't know much of her music, um, so not a great choice. But um, I don't know, man. Um, I liked The Matrix, at least the first one. Um, so go Lana Wachowski, um, but I haven't seen much more of her work. Um, but I guess that's it. As far as like activists, though, I'm desperately, secretly, madly in love with Janet Mock. Okay, um, and uh, she doesn't even know I exist, but she's amazing. Like I love her. It's just she's just totally awesome to interact with and to see and. She's so beautiful. Um, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's I think that's it really. I don't have much more than that. The the list is pretty short to choose from. So um, I am going to wrap this up actually because I did a couple of long videos. You need a short one. I need a short one. We're just going to call it uh, an end here. But leave your favorites in the comments below. I'd love to see some discussion there. Um, leave me messages here in my inbox, comments below. Uh, find me on Tumblr, brinconvenient.tumblr.com, on Twitter, at brinconvenient, and on bygender.net, at bygender.net slash forum. Okay, until tomorrow.